Welcome back everybody. Another video with your favorite Mr. Kater. In this video, we'll be going through Angular Material and what Angular Material is, it's a UI kit for Angular. In simple English, it means that there is already pre-built components by Angular. So how they look like, it's things like, you know, you can have like autocomplete inputs or you could have buttons, you could have things like cards and, you know, other very useful things that Angular already has pre-built for us and styled properly with themes for us, right? If I click here onto the buttons, you can see already we have, you know, this very nice looking buttons with icons that are, you know, part of this whole package. So let's see how we can get started with it and try to just install it into our app. But before we do, let's just take a look at how this whole Myangular Material website is structured. At the top here, you can see that you can be able to just toggle between different versions of this Angular Material. In many cases, it keeps in sync with the version of Angular that is current or latest. As well, you will see that there's a button where you, you can be able to just change different themes. These are also available for you as a developer to use on your Angular app. Last but not least, you are also able to provide your own custom colors, themes, typography, and, you know, your look and feel of your app without having to only depend on the provided themes by Angular. I won't really get into the depth of theming using your own custom themes. Otherwise, talk is cheap. So let's just go ahead and add Angular material to our app. You have to type in ng space add space at Angular material. Other people also try to use npm install and then stuff like that. Well, that is not particularly correct or right or not the best way to go about it because there are other additional steps that needs to be performed but with an ng add it does that automatically for you so it asks us if we would like to proceed and it tells us obviously the version of angular material it's trying to install which is 18.01 this is obviously all motivated by the version of angular that we are currently on it doesn't normally take a minute but yeah once it has tried to install the package it will ask you obviously the theme you want to go with i'm gonna say the cn orange which is a dark one set up global angular typography style i'll just say yes include enabled animation i'll just say yes because this helps me to not just have to redo certain things later so i just say it should just set it up and you can see here it has updated a few files we can go ahead and just double check the first one it says the app config ts file if i go there i can see that it has added things like animations which is it allows your app to have very nice animations and as well as the angular json i just want to double check what has been added here so let's see Angular JSON. Okay, you can see it has added the theme or a reference to the theme that I said it should it should add. It does that for me. And obviously on the package JSON, it adds the add Angular material. On the index side, there's two things that were added. Number one, it has added the reference to the material icons. These are the icons that you will see us using. And as well as it has added the typography stuff. So you can see it says the font that it's trying to use. It's Roboto. I think for Keta, we use something like RoboSlab or something like that. So I can go and change it up a bit later. But yeah, for now, that's cool. And then it goes to the main styles and then just kind of updates the HTML body to 100. And then just obviously also ensure the font family. It's that as well. Now that we have installed the Angular Material package, you need to always remember to restart your app. By that, I mean you can just go ahead, Control C, or you remove whatever running tab there is, and then type in again ng save so that your app can start from scratch. Otherwise, you might not see some styles being applied 
because we already also, we also updated the South SS and then Angular JSON, so it might need to be reloaded by you restarting your app. Otherwise, let's see how we can just change this button to use Angular Material. To start off, you can just paste this in your category component TS. Where I'm getting this is quite very simple. So you can go to the material dot angular dot io website and then click on components and then click on the component that you want to use in this case it's a button i click on the button and then i go to api and you'll see at the top here this is how you import it and then once you have imported it ensure that it's also imported into your components import statement and then that is it then now you can be able to use it but then how do we then turn our simple button to be a nice looking material button? You just type met button. You can see a few suggestions. There's a simple met button, met fab and all those kind of things. I'll just go for a simple net button. Just like that. It has done it for us. But I want something that is um, a bit filled. Think that looks much better and then i mean when you click it still does work as normal you can play more with your button for example if you want to just have an only outlined button you can do something like that you can also change the color to use other colors that are defined you can see just change like that when you click it it probably has a very nice animation that happens as well on the button otherwise you can just go ahead and see if you can import a cut component and maybe make it look like what we are seeing here on the angular website and if you are able to do it just put down your comment on the comment section or if you are unable to do it do that or just reach out on discord or whatsapp group channels otherwise that is it for now and in the next video we'll be taking a look at a much nicer screen for our cater store we are continuing with it and for now yabonga bye